What up, world? It's your boy Lil Mo Films. Welcome to another episode of the Chitlin' Circuit. Um, yeah, we just took a L. We just took a L. Uh, one of our rappers, uh, from Chattanooga, one of our very talented rappers. Um, they say he been charged. Him and his girlfriend have been charged in Chattanooga after autopsy reveals fentanyl in two year old's child's body. You know what I'm saying? Um, hold on, I'm gonna just read this so y'all can't say I made nothing up or no shit or, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? It say, uh, first of all, let me say this before I read it. Y'all love to, y'all love to, y'all love to see niggas get fucked up, man, I, I mess up. You feel me? Y'all love to see niggas mess up, man. I just seen everybody talking about this man up and down this timeline all day. And uh, we don't even know the full story yet. We ain't even got to hear his side of the story yet. And uh, all I, my question is, why y'all ain't got that same energy when the, when the nigga drops some music or something? Or when he, when he put a video out or something, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we need that same energy on shit like that to support our own. You feel me to support our own, but um, this this just one of them spots, man. We just in one of them, one of them cities, man. They, they done divided us so much, man. Them, them white folks done got down on us, on us so hard, bro. We just against each other, man. We just it seems like it ain't gonna never get right. You feel me? We don't even see it to play right there. All we got to do is. Is all link up together, you feel me? Like, quit all this bullshit, man. Like, everybody just support each other. Everybody, you see a nigga trying to do something, support it. You feel me? And uh, this shit like this could be prevented. You know what I'm saying? But uh, let me read this, man, then we 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 get into it or whatever. It say, uh, say uh, a man and woman in Chattanooga face murder charges after police say an autopsy revealed presence of fentanyl in their two-year-old son. Chattanooga police arrested 32-year-old Taiwan Darrell Greathouse and 34-year-old Brittany Marie Bell. A release says the couple's two-year-old son was rushed to the hospital in distress. The child later died on March 20 of this year and the autopsy revealed the presence of fentanyl in his system. Damn. Uh, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Let's see what else it got to say. It say Great House and Bell have both been charged with first degree premeditated murder. Premeditated murder. Felony murder, aggravated child endangerment, and two counts of misdemeanor child endangerment. Great House and Bell have been charged with first-degree premeditated murder. Hold on now. See, y'all got to watch how they word this stuff, man. Y'all got to watch how they word this stuff. Premeditated murder? Premeditated murder? I don't, I don't know about that. And we just don't jump to conclusions, y'all. Don't jump to conclusions, man. Don't jump to conclusions because I'm going to tell you like this, like, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know the full story. We don't know the full story. Did they? Did they find drugs on him? Did do on uh him as his baby mama or his girlfriend or whatever? You know what I'm saying? Did they? Did they find any drugs on them? Was any drugs found in the house or anything? Uh, if not, they say you could just touch fit now and it'll kill you, or you could breathe it in and it'll kill you. They that baby could have came in contact with it anywhere. The baby could have came in contact with that anyway. So don't 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 jump uh don't jump to conclusions on this one. Don't jump to conclusions, man. Like and I don't even, I don't know I don't know bro like that. I ain't never really worked with him or nothing like that. I always wanted to interview him. You know what I'm saying? I always wanted to interview him because I feel like he real talented, rapper or whatever. 
I wish I had it done, got the interview. You know what I'm saying? But hopefully this will turn out. This one, uh, he already done took a loss. He already done took a loss with his with his baby. With that baby, man, his baby. I couldn't even imagine. I couldn't even imagine that, bro. I couldn't even imagine that he already done took a big loss right there. So uh, let's not wish. Let's not wish prison on him. You know what I'm saying? Let's find out the whole story first. Let's find out the whole story first before we rush the judge. You feel me? Like, you know, this this one of them, this one of them guys, the type of type of guys I I call myself like in the represent, man, cause yeah, uh nigga, niggas might be done done a lot of shit, but that just come from the circumstances that we come up in that that we done growed up in. You know what I'm saying? Some and we gotta live with some of the decisions we done made, but uh you don't wish no shit like this on nobody, man. And for some of y'all to just come out, you ain't never talked to you ain't never talked about the man. Music, you ain't never did nothing, but y'all rush to jump on jump on this. I just don't understand I don't understand it, man. I don't get it. You feel me? When when there's people like her we really need to be going at, then everybody just sit back and be quiet and don't have nothing to say. You know what I'm saying? Uh they, they niggas just waiting on you to crash out around here, man. I see what's going on. They really waiting on you to fall so they can talk about you and go on about their life. You know what I'm saying? But uh Yeah, bro, if you see this man, keep your head up, man. You keep your head up and uh just pr just pray about it, my nigga. Just pray about it. You feel me? Like sorry for your loss. Sorry for your loss. To your family, sorry for your loss. You know what I'm saying? Um that's fucked up, man. Um, that's fucked up. But to everybody out there spectating and watching, don't jump to conclusions yet, man, because you got to hear the full story first. We got to hear the full story first. And if we don't got the full story, then we can't make the full conclusion. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it didn't say he was sentenced. It said he was charged. So they got the charges. That mean you guilty until proven innocent. You feel me? So I always told y'all I wanted to be a lawyer, man. So uh, I might can't go in the courtroom and fight, but uh, I can fight out here on the streets for niggas, uh, for niggas sake, for niggas image, for niggas. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they memories. They they memory. Cause what if he what if he do get gone? What if he do get gone? Then you know we got We got to be able to have them memories. You know what I'm saying? We got to be able to have the memories, man. So uh, that's what I do this for, man. So um, a little more reach out to you, like on some interview shit, trying to interview you. Uh, something like that, man. Just look at it as an investment into the future. You know, I just seen like I got old and was like, damn, man, wasn't nobody recording none of the shit that we was doing. We was younger, like. Nigga, I remember I ran six touchdowns one game, nigga. That shit just in my head. <laughs> I'll never be able to see it again. You feel me? Like, I would love to show my son, or my if I have a grandson one day, to show my grandson or granddaughter or whatever how I was when I was younger. You feel me? We we got that. We got that opportunity now. That's why I try to do a lot of interviews with people. And some of the people y'all might not know. You know what I'm saying? But everybody got a, uh, everybody got a story to tell. And uh, I don't try to focus on interviewing big name people. I try to interview people that that just just need to be heard, man. Everybody want to be heard. You feel me? So uh, I be in the creases in the crack, man, with this dust and this mud, kicking it up, man. Uh, finding them real stories. You feel me? Finding them real stories that the world can relate to. And uh, that's what I'm all about over at the Chilling Circuit. You know what I'm saying? A little more films, you know. But um yeah, y'all keep your head up, man. My prayers go out uh to T Montana and his family, you feel me? Uh sorry for y'all loss. And y'all keep your head up, man. There's a little more films, the chilling circuit. We out. Boom. Little more films. You watching the chilling circuit. Y'all know what it is. Little more films.